today's lecture is about mechanical drives uh, mechanical drives is one of the power transmission ways and uh, other power transmission ways are through belts chains gear drives shafts couplings we have already studied gears and uh, we today's topic is belt drives so what is the purpose of belt belts are used to transmit power from one shaft to another by means of pulleys which rotate at same speed or at different speeds the amount of power transmitted depends on following factors the velocity of the belt the tension under which the belt is placed on pulley the arc of contact between the belt and the pulley the condition under which the belt is used so this slide is in front of you and this is showing different systems in which uh, belt drive is used and uh, this is the engine system this is the motor which is transmitting power from the pulley to the another shaft so this is called there are different types of belt drives which we will be learning uh, in this lectures and this is the driven pulley this is the driving pulley this is the input side this is the output side so the purpose of the belt drive is to transmit power from the input side to the output side so there are different uh, belt terminologies which are used the there is a driven pulley in the belt drive system and there is the driver pulley in the belt drive system this is the slack side so the slack side is the loose side of the belt and this is the tight side of the belt and this is the arc of the contact arc of the contact the the uh, the area or you can say the arc length uh, in which the pulley is in contact with the belt it is called the arc of the contact so uh, why there is a tight side and a slack side so when there is a there is more contact between the pulley and the belt uh, the tight the, the lower side of the belt is the tight side and Uh, when there is upper side when there is less contact then the upper side of the belt is tight and the lower side of the belt is slack side so what are the advantages of the belt drives as compared to the other transmission systems uh, like uh, gears chains etc so they are more flexible uh, the noise is very less as compared to the gears they don't require any lubricant belt drives do not require parallel shaft they can be transmitted at different angles the shaft does not need to be parallel they can transmit uh, power at 90 degree angle and if you release the belt tension they behave like a clutch they uh, the belt moves uh, freely or loosely and they pro provide protection against overload and obstruction other advantages include that the efficiency or is around 95 to 98% easier to install and maintain machine service life is increased because load fluctuations are absorbed lower total installation cost lower maintenance cost 
when the distance between the shafts is very large belt drives are the most economical option so you you know that the power can be transmitted uh, from gears uh, but what what is the drawback in this that uh, the gears cannot transmit they can transmit but you cannot design very large gears if you want to transmit uh, power to at a very large distance so disadvantages of belt drive system is that they can't be repaired if they break or stop working they must be replaced deterioration due to exposure to lubricant or chemicals so the belts become deteriorated when they are exposed to lubricants or chemicals typically operating temperatures are limited from minus 35 to 85 degrees centigrade uh, they cannot operate at higher uh, temperatures because the belt will melt or uh, it will deteriorate they are not compact they require tightening the speed ratio varies due to belt slippage so when the driver pulley and the driven pulley is moving so there is a belt slippage uh, in the belt drive system so the speed ratio does not remain the same and uh, the belt drives can be uh, used for limited speeds about 35 meter per second the angular velocity of belt drive is not constant due to belt slippage the power transmission of belt is limited to 370 kilowatt which increases heat accumulation so you cannot use a belt drive to transmit high powers because of the heat accumulation belt drives usually play, place a heavy load on shafts and bearings to compensate for wear and stretching belt also require a deflection pulley or an adjustment of the center distance so these are various types of belts this is the flat belt this is the v belt this is the timing belt and this is the circular belt so there are other belts also rib belt trapezoidal belt endless belt synchronous belts so i will explain some of these in the later slide uh, this is also called the timing belt or uh, and this is called the v belt so the types of uh, belt drives are flat belt drive v belt drive circular belt drives the flat belt drives are used for moderate power transmission when two pulleys are not more than 8 meter apart V belt are used for greater power transmission when two pulleys are very near to each other. Uh, circular belts are used for greater power transmission uh, when two pulleys are more than eight meter apart. So there are different uh, polymeric materials, or you can say the uh, composite material which are used for the belts. <coughs> so there is the leather there is cotton there is fabric there is rubber there is a blata which is hard rubber like material uh, some nylon uh, uh, cords are used some of the different uh, like uh, kevlar is used and uh, for giving high strength to the belt and in some cases uh, uh, we can say <coughs> cotton is used so what happens as the speed of the belt increases the centrifugal force also increases so which tries to pull the belt away from the pulley and as a result power transmitted by belt decreases so there are different types of uh, belt drives so open belt drive crossed or twist belt drive uh, quarter turn belt drive uh, belt drive with idler pulley 
compound belt drive, stepped or cone pulley drive, uh, fast and loose pulley drive. So these are based on the uh, orientation or you can say the arrangement of the belt on the pulleys. And this is the first type of belt drive. Uh, open belt drive is uh, used with shafts arranged parallel uh, and uh, rotating in the same direction. So if the shafts are rotating in the same direction, uh, then we use uh, this type of belt drive. And uh, cross belt drive is used when shafts are arranged. Uh, parallel and rotating in the opposite direction so when the shafts are rotating in the opposite direction so then this type of arrangement is used. so this is rotating clockwise this is rotating anti-clockwise then we have to cross the belt uh, quarter turn uh, belt drive so this belt drive is also known as right angle belt drive. Uh, it is used with shafts arranged at right angles and rotating in one di definite direction. In order to prevent the belt from leaving pulley, so a guide pulley is used in between and uh, the width of the face of the pulley should be greater greater or equal to 1.4 times the width of width of the belt so <coughs> this is the guide pulley which is used in between and this is transmitting power at 90 degree angle This is called quarter turn belt pulley. So this is the belt drive with the idler pulley, and uh, is used. Uh, it is used when the shafts are in parallel, and when an open belt drive cannot be used due to small angle of contact on the smaller pulley. This type of uh, drive is provided to obtain high velocity ratio and uh, when required belt tension cannot be obtained by other means. So you can drive multiple systems using this belt drive with idler pulley. These are the idler pulleys. These, these are just, uh, they are not playing any role. They are just uh, there to support the belt. This is the idler pulley. Compound belt drive. Uh, they are used when power is transmitted from one shaft to another through a number of pulleys. So this belt, this uh, driver pulley or, or driven pulley is transmitting power to the driver pulley and this driver pulley is transmitting power to the student pulley and this this is transmitting to the driver pulley so there are number of uh, uh, there are number of pulleys involved in this so stepped or cone pulley uh, it is used for changing the speed of the driven shaft while the main or driving shaft runs at constant speed. So the purpose of this is to change the speed. Let's suppose if you want to, if you change the dial uh, of the pulley and you shift the belt from here to here, uh, then the speed of the system will change. So this is the driver pulley which is running at a constant RPM of 2300 RPM. If you change the dial of the driven pulley, uh, then the RPM will change. So we have, you just need to shift the belt from here to here. 
and the speed will change. So fast and loose pulley drive. Uh, it is used when the driven or machine shaft is to be started or stopped whenever desired without interfering with the dri driving shaft. A pulley which is key to the machine shaft is called the fast pulley and runs at the same speed as that of the machine shaft. A loose pulley runs freely over the machine shaft and is incapable of transmitting po any power. So just when you have to <coughs> don't have to transmit the power you simply shift the belt from here to here and this is the fast pulley and uh, uh, this is used for transmitting power and this is used for this is the loose pulley which runs freely over the machine shaft and is incapable of transmitting power so if you want to transmit power just shift this belt from loose pulley to the fast pulley so how to choose transmission belt so the type of belt uh, if you want to choose from v belt uh, uh, flat belt and uh, you want to choose from a synchronous belt or timing belt then how to how you should choose based on the type of application so torque uh, to be transmitted and uh, uh, rotational speeds, center distance, reduction ratio, uh, temperature and lubrication conditions. So it depends on the application. So when we should choose flat belt, flat belt offer an optimal efficiency of 98%. However, they are only suitable for low loads. Once the drive system is aligned, flat belt can be self-centered by curved pulleys. So they can, if the drive system is aligned, the flat belts can be uh, self-centered. Like uh, if the pulley is curved, then this this can transmit power at an angle. So advantages of flat belt in case of large pulleys. Uh, wide flat belts can be used to provide higher power at high speeds so the transmit power and the transmit high power at high speeds like up to 375 kilowatt at 51 meter per second belt speed so th they have better efficiency than the V belts so over 98% efficiency longer service life than V belts they are very quiet and have very less noise so large center distance is possible as already discussed so disadvantages of a flat belt pulley is that there is a risk of pulley displacement because the belt is flat require high voltage maintenance uh, tendency to slide on the face of the pulley when heavy loads are applied most flat belts are used of rubber are made of rubber or synthetic polymer generally there are steps with both ends joined by stapling or welding so the belt is how they are joined is they are joined through stapling or welding they are also so called endless or seamless belts they are so manufactured in one piece by welding or stapling so this is the V belt and uh, this is also called V belt and these are the most commonly used belt for power transmission at the same level of tension they transmit higher power than the flat belt they use for example in variable speed drives so the V shaped section of the belt follows a groove in the pulley which prevents the belt from slipping and improve torque transmission so as you can see in the previous slide there is there are different grooves present in the belt so they do not allow the belt to slip so the flat belt when it rotates on the pulley it slips 
So this belt has an advantage that it does not slip because of the grooves present on the pulley. Uh, it is less wide than a flat belt and therefore take up less space. It does not need to be as tight. So the optimal speed range is between 300 and 2130 meter per minute. For high power requirements, two or more V belts can be assembled side by side in an arrangement called multiple belt drive. So, when there is a high power requirement, you can uh, use a multiple belt drive or multiple pulley system to transmit high power. So, V belts are also called trapezoidal belts, can be made up of rubber or polymer without reinforcement or they can have fibers in, incorporated into the, the rubber or polymer to increase strength so this is a composite type of material to uh, these fibers can be made up of textile materials such as cotton polyamide polyester for greater strength steel or aramid such as kevlar so there is one more type which is called the rib belt. So as the name suggests that this kind of belt is ribbed lengthwise. So in previous uh, belt there was groove present in the uh, belt and in the, in the you can say the width or direction. In this type of belt there is groove present in the lengthwise direction. The, which greatly increases the contact surface between the pulley and the belt. It works by adhering the ridge part of the belt to the pulley. It one piece structure allows for homogeneous distribution of the belt tension on the pulley's contact surface. What are the advantages? It has it can be used for wide power range from 0 to 600 kilowatt due to its rib structure long service life and reliability long transmission ratio possible stable tension and the transmission is quiet so you can see there are grooves present in the lengthwise direction so the belts are used as belt drive in belt belt drives on automobiles uh, they are also used for large electrical appliances such as washing machines, dryers, and on concrete mixers, compressors, lawn movers. So these are some of the examples of rib belt drives. So <coughs> this is similar to the groove V belt. These are called synchronous or cog belts. Though these are slotted, so they are used, for example, to drive camshafts or for the secondary transmission of some motorcycles. They are also used for many industrial or agricultural applications. Synchronous belts are essential for avoiding any phase shift. So as you can see in 3D printers, we need very accurate uh, motion and for this purpose, uh, we use cogged or synchronous belt. So this the pulley is also having grooves present in it. and. Uh, so the purpose of this is to very uh, transmit very accurate motion. So this it has application in 3D printers, in uh, the normal jet printers, uh, uh, and uh, A4 color printers. These type of belts are used. So a belt that is not slotted will always shift due to its elasticity, even if it is very tight. So polyurethane belts are more resistant to oil, ozone, vibrations and low temperatures than neoprene belts. Poly polyurethane belts are make, may also make it possible to transmit high power and torque than neoprene ones. So what are the advantages of uh, cogged or synchronous belts? Uh, they guarantee the synchronization of the system and the transmission of movement without slipping. Since power transmission is accomplished through gear meshing, unlike other belts, 
these belts are able to restore withstand low speeds and require a lower initial tension so the overall application of these belts uh, are in automotive industry like a rib belt drive is used for a number of peripheral components like an engine with uh, for uh, rotating the alternator power steering pump water pump etc so for the transport industry we can we could also mention bicycle motorcycles these use belts belts are also used in a wide range of industrial applications requiring motion of power transmission particularly in conveyors so in conveyor belts which are present in the airports uh, we use these type of belts these types of belts are also used in lifts and other applications uh, this slide will help you in calculating the uh, velocity ratio bit of the belt drives so d1 is the diameter of the uh, or you can say the driver pulley or the driven pulley and d2 is the diameter of the smaller pulley d1 is the diameter of the larger pulley and n1 and n2 is the speed in rpms so n1 is the speed of the larger pulley which is in revolutions per minute and n2 is the speed in of the smaller pulley so v1 is the velocity in of the you can say the belt and uh, if the if you suppose that the belt did, did, did not slip so the length of the belt passing over the driver pulley in one minute is equal to the length covered by a point on the driver pulley in one minute so this velocity and this velocity will be the same if there is no slip so vb is equal to pi d1 in, into n1 and vb is equal to pi d2 into n2 so the length of the belt passing over driver pulley in one minute is equal to length of the belt passing over the driven pulley in one minute so from here we can calculate the speed ratio it is equal to n2 over n1 d1 is equal to d2 so from this equation we understand that if the diameter of the pulley decreases speed will increase so the, if this this is a smaller diameter pulley then it will have more speed than the larger diameter pulley so n is inversely proportional to the diameter so if, if we consider the thickness of the belt we add thickness to uh, of the belt into the diameters so the velocity ratio comes out to be this so we can also calculate the slip of the belt or we can also calculate the velocity ratio due to the slip of the belt and it is given by this formula so what is slip of the belt as I have already explained that uh, the sometimes the frictional grip between the belt and the pulleys becomes insufficient. Uh, this, can, this may cause some forward motion of the driver without carrying the belt with it. So this is called the slip of the belt and is generally expressed as the percentage. The result of the belt slipping is to reduce the velocity ratio of the system. The reduction of velocity ratio can be expressed as this formula. So you can um, add the slip of the belt and you can calculate the velocity ratio of the driver and driven pulley. So there is one more terminology used which is called the creep of the belt. So when the belt passes from slack side to the tight side what happens a strain portion of the 
belt extends and it contracts again so when the belt passes from tight side to the slack side some of the portion contracts and some of the portion of the belt extends uh, due to this changes in length, there is a relative motion between the belt and the pulley surfaces. The total effect of creep is to reduce, slightly reduce the speed of the driven, driven pulley. So what is the overall effect of the creep is that the speed of the driven pulley is reduced. So this is the formula of the creep of the belt and uh, this is the stress in the belt on the tight side and the slack side respectively. Sigma 1 is the stress in the tight side, Sigma 2 is the stress in the slack side. This is the Young modulus of the material and you can calculate the creep of, uh, you can calculate the velocity ratios. So since the effect of the creep is very small, therefore it is generally neglected. So power transmit, uh, transmitted by the flat belt drive. So you can calculate the power transmission by uh, subtracting T1 minus T2 which is tension in the tight side in Newton's tension in the slack side in the Newton's and the velocity of the belt in meter per second you can calculate the power transmitted by a belt so this is uh, not necessary right now but uh, there is a, you can calculate the t1 over t2 and put it in this formula to calculate the power transmitted by a flat belt there is a derivation of uh, calculating the t1 over t2 and where mu is the frictional coefficient and theta is the angle so if you want to calculate the power transmitted by the flat belt you have to incorporate this equation in this formula so there are a variety number of uh, belts available in the market and there are a variety number of uh, uh, charts which are available this is just an example and the let's suppose if the product code is 7, 7m thousand then this means that the width is uh, 7 millimeters and 5 mm is the thickness of the belt and thousand is the effective length and this chart will help you in choosing the pulley type this is if the face width is uh, in, in inches is given and the diameter is given in the inches so if the speed is around uh, if uh, it lies in this area then you have to choose cast iron pulley if this lies in this area you have to choose steel or ductile iron pulley and you have to design a special pulley if it lies in this area so this is also different variety of belts, SPZ, SPA, SPB, SPC and depending on the design power and the speed of the faster RPM you can choose from this variety of belts. So thank you very much for listening to this lecture and you must know that uh, why we choose uh, belt and uh, why we don't choose gears and uh, the reason is that uh, the belts can transmit power to a larger distance but there is a drawback uh, there, there is a slippage in it and uh, for reducing the slippage you can use the uh, cogged belts and uh, but so the slack side, tight side are different terminologies. Uh, so there are different uh, formulas I have taught today, which is slip of the belt, creep of the belt, power of the belt. And at the end I have uh, taught you the belt charts. And so thanks a lot for listening to my lecture.
Thank you very much. Goodbye.